U.S. general revealed the main secret of how Ukraine will win the war against Russia. According to retired U.S. Air Force Lieutenant General David Deptula, Ukraine needs a powerful air force to win the criminal war unleashed by Russia. The conclusion of the expert report emphasized that giving Ukraine air superiority is a key condition for victory. According to Deptula, today's critical condition for victory is giving Ukraine air superiority. The key lesson for today is the absolute necessity of air superiority to achieve decisive military superiority, the retired U.S. general emphasizes according to the report's conclusion. It would protect Ukrainian forces and give them the freedom to attack themselves from enemy attacks. The largely land-based approach has led to a brutal battle of attrition, one in which Russia has a numerical advantage, analysts at the Mitchell Institute for Aerospace Studies said. Retired American military personnel expressed their belief that the U.S. Air Force could provide Ukraine with the necessary air superiority that would enable it to break through the front line, stop the advance of the occupation army of the Russian Federation, and return the territories captured by Russia. It's time to start focusing on what victory looks like, not just avoiding daily defeats. The retired U.S. military emphasizes, according to them, the Air Force of Ukraine has existed for many years under conditions of acute resource and capability shortages. Without such an advantage, American military experts state a war based on attrition will be won by the side that has more combat personnel and more material resources. Russia. Experts suggested ways Ukraine could conduct an integrated air-ground campaign to secure air superiority, strengthen its military on the battlefield, and regain territory captured by Russia. Since Russia launched its full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, Kyiv has been pleading with its Western partners to provide the country with modern fighter jets. The anticipated arrival and deployment of the first batch of F-16 fighter jets in Ukraine will be welcomed by the country and its supporters. The American-made planes are among the most crucial equipment donated to support Ukraine to date as the country's forces struggle to resist Russia's invasion. Advanced Western fighter jets are seen as essential by Kyiv in helping Ukraine's outgunned and outmanned troops beat back Russia's air and ground forces. China develops attack drones for Russia, they may be used against Ukraine. Chinese and Russian companies are developing a strike drone similar to Iran's Shahed. Bloomberg reports this, citing European officials familiar with the situation. They suggested that this is a sign that China is getting closer to providing the kind of lethal aid to Russia that Western officials had previously warned about. Officials speaking on condition of anonymity said that last year the companies agreed to cooperate on the production of an Iranian Shahid's and this year they began developing and testing in preparation for sending them to Russia. According to them, the Chinese drones have not yet been used in Ukraine. Some countries believe that providing Russia with drones for offensive purposes would cross the line into lethal assistance, officials said. The publication noted that Russia relies on China for critical parts and components. According to officials, it is worrying that China can produce drones like the Shahed much faster than Iran or Russia. Officials have not provided details about the drone in development, but Chinese defense websites and several media outlets have reported that the country is developing a kamikaze drone called the Sunflower 200, which is described as similar in appearance to Iran's Shahed-136 drone. The Chinese authorities are trying their best to convince the world that they are neutral in the Russian war against Ukraine. However, China is quietly helping Russia wage this war. European and American officials have repeatedly visited Beijing to reason with the Chinese authorities and not to cooperate with the Kremlin. However, these attempts have led to nothing. Thus, in April, Bloomberg News reported that China provides the Russians with satellite images for military purposes, microelectronics and machine tools for tanks, as well as a number of technologies used in weapons or necessary for their production.